Hey everyone, before we begin, if you're in the Seattle area, Joystick, Joystick Video Game Burlesque is happening. This is September 20th and 21st. It's being put on by Smooches in Science and Geek Girl Con, and it is at the Columbia City Theater. Link is in the description, and tickets are at Brown Paper Bag. Totally recommend going, and let's get on with the show. When it comes to making Let's Plays, it helps me understand it as a craft. For viewers, Let's Playing is kind of like a serialized television sort of thing. For the creator, it's kind of like cosplaying. That first costume that you make is always very stressful and difficult. You just gotta take it one stitch at a time. But then, as you're learning your craft, it becomes more easy and more fun, and you can make more things that are even more complicated, and that's exactly how Let's Playing is. So let's break down the craft of Let's Playing into four basic parts. Gameplay, commentary, personality, and editing. How you perform your game is very important to how you express yourself. So whether your LP is in images or video or text-based, how you represent your playing with the game is special and takes practice. You are a magician on stage, so bend the stage to your will. Without commentary, the play that you're participating in wouldn't have any kind of personal context to it. Commentary can be in any media that you're comfortable with. Take 5511 mashes up music and video from all sorts of other places in order to better explore his games by juxtaposing those images and music videos and other forms of media to the game that he's playing. Combining commentary with gameplay is where most Let's Players spend the bulk of their time working on their craft. It's not easy to be able to talk about a game and play it at the same time. Personally, it took me about six months to feel comfortable with how I was combining my gameplay with my commentary. Everyone plays games differently, so personality is totally a part of the craft of Let's Playing that anyone can work on in a different way. Since playing games makes people feel differently, discussing your own feelings throughout your playthrough is a great way of exploring your own personality in your Let's Play. Finally, there's editing. Editing is the craft that brings together gameplay, commentary, and personality all into one big kind of meta craft. Finding new ways to automate or streamline your processes and create higher quality end products is an art all its own and is totally different for everyone. Editing allows me to enhance my Pokemon Let's Play with the use of a graphical overlay. And that allows the people watching my Let's Play to keep track of all of the information that could change from episode to episode. Editing is kind of tricky, but it's always been the part of the process that I've really enjoyed growing on the most. So there you go. Gameplay, commentary, personality, and editing. Four basic crafts to creating Let's Plays. Let's Playing can be overwhelming in many ways, so hopefully it helps to break it into smaller crafts. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Let's Plays as an Art. Please share this video around with other Let's Players that you may know. And if you're interested in starting your own adventure in LPing, let me know on Twitter at at SolenCubed. I can help you out. Also, let me know in the comments, what's your favorite part of making Let's Plays?